Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller and this quick tip video is on fit splines. First off, where would you want to use fit splines? What are fit splines? And how do you actually use them? Let's go in there and take a look. First off, I've got a couple models in here and you see some hard edges in the models. Even if I go in and put it in shaded mode, that will go in and remove the hard edges from a visual standpoint but if we went and machined off this using a CMC package this edge particularly in a plastic injection mold part and this edge over here that you see in the sweat part can show up so what we like to do is we like to go ahead and work with our shaded edges on because if we see an edge there it might be seen in the manufacturing process as well. So let's go in there and see how fit spline works to resolve some of these issues and how you use the tool. So first off, the tool is found when you're inside the sketcher, whether it's a 3D sketch or a 2D sketch, you'll find the tool under the spline tools command. I've also put it on my shortcut key, so I'll be using it from my shortcut key from here, but again, it's under the spline tools, fit spline when you're under the sketcher. So I'm going to go in and use the fit spline command, and I will chain these together, and I'm going to go in there and change the tolerance from a tight tolerance to something pretty loose, just so you can see what it's doing it's really fitting the spline to all the underlining arcs that I've got in the shape. So anytime I've changed any of these dimensions it will still change the underlining arcs. If I put a tight tolerance on this, this pretty much hugs the arcs and this will change the spline that is fit to all the arcs. Now the benefit here is when I leave you can see the extrusion with the arcs regardless of me putting it on shaded with edges or not I do not see the hard edges let me show you just by putting it with shaded without edges and then let me go back and put it on shading with edges and you really do see those hard edges are out of the model let's go in and take a look at the swept version same thing with the swept version even though these arcs are all tangent inside my sketch, it still shows me those hard edges at that tangency condition. So again, I can come in here, select chain, I can go into my fit spline command, fit the spline with a nice tight tolerance, and when I leave, I lose all my hard edges. Works the same way with revolves. Here's a revolve part. Again, that has tangency. I have a tangency constraint between my arc and my line. And you see that hard edge. Shaded with edges are on. Now I'll go in, do the same thing with an open spline rather than a closed spline. Select both lines, an arc, I should say. Use the fit spline command. You want to make sure that if it's not being closed that you don't close it. If I closed it that would want to loop it back around. So from there no more hard edge and then revolved. There's another thing you can do with fit splines as well. Let me go in and just start a new 3D sketch and I'm going to go in and start this sketch with an insert 3D sketch. and I'm just going to go sketch a spline and I'm starting off from my origin and I'm actually going to sketch this in 3D so I'm going to come over to this plane and go back up to this plane so this is a 3D curve and I'm going to keep going with this I'm going to continue a curve outside of here and I can do the same thing I could go in and adjust it and go into 3D. So fit spline can also be used to fit a spline between two other splines in a 3D sketch. So that's another use of the fit spline command. So I hope that was useful. Fit spline.
and SolidWorks. Thanks for watching another quick tip video by Go Engineer.